Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a, well, a gun that really shouldn't exist by serial number, but it is one of a known group, a small known group of Mauser large ring hammer bolos that was made well after large ring hammer production should have ceased. So we'll kind of go into the, the theories of why and look at this gun and just kind of get a closer look. But as you can see, this is a standard Bolo that Mauser was making by this time. This gun dates to about 1905, let's say, would be a very safe year. Uh, maybe 1906, maybe 1904. You get it around that time. You have your small grip frame here for the Bolo pistol, because it was a smaller gun in general. As you can see, Mauser used these really fancy hard rubber or gutta percha grips on it, which uh, you will see on these guns. You will also see these grips on Bolos in the 29,000 serial number range. And you've got your standard Mauser marking right there. You've got your Ulm proof mark right there, which is just the German proof house. You've got your standard front sight with your banded barrel for a bolo, your short bolo barrel, your long extractor, standard chamber marking, the super optimistic up to a thousand meter rear sight, which in this case is actually notched, which most of them, the rear sight cursor was straight. But some of these bolos seem to have a notched rear sight. Your matching numbered bolt block. Most importantly, your large ring hammer, which again, as I said, should not exist at this late period. By about serial number 35,000, Mauser had phased out the large ring hammer in favor of the small ring hammer. So this gun is actually in the 40,000 serial number range without banging my camera. As you can see, it's well into the 40,000 serial number range. But yet it's still got all the features of early guns. And we even looked at a serial number in the 38,000s from Mauser that uh, was a standard full-size gun, but that had a small ring hammer and a short extractor. So I don't know if these were just made up of small parts or spare parts or what, the other thing is, is this still has the old cone hammer style safety where up is fire and down is safe. Whereas Mauser had moved on to a different kind of safety where up against the hammer would be safe and down would be fire. So it has an old type safety, the large cone hammer, or I'm sorry, the large large ring hammer your long extractor, and really just, again, these grips that kind of throw back to the 29,000 serial number range. So just all in all, a very unusual gun. There are other guns in a very tight serial number range right around here that have a lot of these same features. I, my guess is Mauser was using up some parts that they have laying around. Uh, they're really good at that. Uh, You'll see a lot of broom handles that really kind of shouldn't have certain parts. They will have certain parts, and yet they're factory, they're all numbered, they're all original, like this guy. So Mauser kind of never threw stuff out, and they just made up, I believe, a batch of these right around 40,000 to probably just get rid of the last of the large ring hammers that they had, and the last of these old safeties, and the last of the bolts that were cut for the long extractor. So kind of an interesting gun, not one that you see very often. Um, this one has obviously survived in pretty nice condition with these really intricate grips here. These are a little bit different than the cherubs shooting the lions, which we looked at in another video, but uh, still looks like the same material and very, very intricate and actually kind of cool but uh hope you've enjoyed taking a look at a 
well, just one of those anachronisms that Mauser like to do that kind of makes collectors scratch their heads and wonder why. I don't know that anyone's got a really definitive reason for this. Uh, everyone's got a theory, but just something that you can take a look at. If you have any questions or theories or know anything about it, I'd love to hear it in the comments. So drop a comment and like and subscribe and we'll look at more broom handles, more helmets, more ordnance, and all kinds of other cool military stuff in upcoming videos. And don't forget, thank you very much for watching. I know we really appreciate you being in the audience. Thank you.